Hello and welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boeing company and Elon Musk. Today I thought we could look at tunnel boring machines. Obviously they are absolutely critical to this company. Without good tunnel boring machines, this company will fail. So therefore I thought it was good that we could look at it today. So let's have a look. Tunnel boring machines. So far, we've looked at machines um, that have been um, essentially refurbished or repurposed by the Boeing company. Um, they will not be the finished article as they will produce uh, machines from scratch using their own designs. They will not rely on outside uh, parties to build their machines. They will build them themselves. So the Boeing company's secret technology now. Do you think that the Boeing company has some kind of secret technology that's going to give them the advantage over all the competitors? Uh, you bet you. The Boeing Co. TBMs, or Tunnel Boeing Machines. They're absolutely critical to the success of the Boeing company. Speed is key. Absolutely key. The problem with building tunnels at present is that the tunnels take a very long time um, you are stuck in the ground um, you either require many many machines to make up that time or you do it with one machine and it takes two to three years to dig a tunnel um, if you're lucky and it costs you an absolute arm and a leg and it's not necessarily the most cost effective um means of getting from A to B to build a tunnel and that's the main problem for a lot of uh, road and rail projects is you end up actually going around obstacles rather than going through them because it is more cost effective and in this day and age we can do a lot better and that is why we have the Boeing company. Every TBM on the planet is engineered differently that is because the geology from one place to another can change immensely. We are talking completely different geology literally 100 meters away from where you're standing because that's just how it is the Boeing company are planning continuous mining battery powered machines that recycle muck into blocks so we've got three elements there it is continuous mining so the actual assembly of the uh, the precast segments is done at the same time as the machine is moving forward and so your actual uh, hydraulic thrust cylinders or your jacks are moving forward as you are assembling the prefabricated sections. The actual machine will be a bit like a cordless drill in that it will be powered via batteries. We are talking a huge battery, possibly in excess of three to four megawatts. It will be something extremely big. Um, also, all the, the muck or the, the rocks and stones that come out of the back of the TBM will be recycled into bricks and blocks and then sold for maybe a, a, a tiny profit. Um, I've also heard from Elon Musk about this hypothetical cost of $4 million per mile of tunnel, which is insane. Um, if they can achieve that, that would be absolutely tremendous. I mean, even if they could achieve $8 million per mile, that would be extremely, extremely good progress considering what it costs now. I mean, we, if we're looking at projects in London like Crossrail, we are talking in excess of $400 million per mile, easily maybe even $500 million per mile. Crazy. Right, so in terms of actually achieving $4 million per mile, they will need to achieve a speed of 0 0.3 miles per hour. This is what Elon Musk has said. That means they will be able to build one mile of tunnel in as little as three and a half hours. Absolutely outstanding. I mean, if they can achieve that, that really will change the game. We are talking absolutely disruptive technology. If they can achieve 0 0.3 miles per hour, if they can achieve 0 0.2 miles per hour, that would be outstanding. Really outstanding. So, 
Um, in terms of the actual uh, Boeing company building their own machines, they have already named them. Um, initially, they are looking at uh, a TBM called Linestorm, which will be a 3x to 4x improvement on existing machines, which is a damn, you know, damn good. Um, but the real money is to be made in uh, the TBM called Proof Rock, which will be entirely designed by the Boeing Company, built from scratch. Every single element will be built by the Boeing Company using technology from SpaceX and Tesla. And we are talking a 10 to 15x improvement. So, I've got a little bit of a video here for us to watch. This is basically um, like an illustration of how a TBM uh, operates a TBM is essentially a very very large machine that operates underground constructing tunnels and digging through the rock so here we are this is the geology as you can see it's quite diverse here is a TBM that they're using in Italy for a highway project it is absolutely massive 15.5 uh, meter diameter so it is almost three times uh, bigger uh, than the tunnel boring machine that the Boeing company will be building um, spinning about two, b two RPM which is pretty damn uh, slow so that that, that actual uh, the blade at the front is the actual uh, the cutter head um, and in front of that is your, your tunnel face uh, the area in red is the actual screw conveyor also known as an Archimedes screw and behind that you have the conveyor belts that take the spoil uh, and the rocks away. These are the actual tunnel segments, or also known as the tunnel lining, which is made out of prefabricated uh, concrete. It's usually reinforced concrete. Um, there you can see the area in red. It's the actual, um, I call that maybe a ring, ring beam, or the rings uh, segment ring. It is pushed forward from the segment ring using hydraulic thrust cylinders or jacks as they sometimes are known this is the main body of the machine it can be up to two to 250 meters long uh, we here we have the main control room so it is literally maybe one or two guys monitoring the, the system ensuring that all the parameters are within the set limits they get any warning lights or they get close to a parameter then obviously something is going badly wrong um, there you go again the jacks are moving the machine forward and then after the jacks have moved the machine forward they are slowly moved back and the tunnel uh, the actual uh, prefabricated concrete uh, segments are installed um, the actual machine is pushed forward with a pressure of up to 500 bar or around 7,000 psi um, a huge amount of force is used to actually turn the cutter head. Immense amount of force. It, again, it turns about 2 RPM, which is horrendously slow. Really quite slow for this machine. I'm pretty confident the Boeing company could easily uh, quadruple that over time, maybe even more than that. Um, what's quite uh, critical to the machine is the actual pressure at the cutter head. Uh, what you need um, is the actual pressure to be equalized. So you use the screw conveyor at um, a higher speed. If you feel that pressure is building up at the face of the machine, um, a screw conveyor will increase if they feel the pressure is getting too much. And if the pressure isn't enough, you could potentially end up with uh, subsidence in the area above. Uh, the area in, in green, that is the actual um, uh, the tunnel shield that protects people that are maybe in that area and protects the machinery as well from any kind of collapse. So the most important part of the machine um, is actually uh, this, the cutter head, which is grinding up the rock using these cutter discs and cutter blades. What they do is they grind up the rock into tiny pieces and then it is fed into the back of the machine and then removed from the tunnel. Um, if necessary, they can inject foam into the, the actual the cutter, cutter head or the face of the machine. Uh, this area here in orange is the actual um, conveyor belt that removes uh, spoil 
from the um, a screw conveyor. So as you can see, uh, dangerous uh, and, and like toxic gases build up in that area. So what you need to do is ventilate it and maybe even damp, damp down the actual uh, spoil that you receive from the face of the machine. And that way it stops uh, any kind of explosions maybe. So here is it showing how that they can reduce the actual um, pressure at the face of the machine by increasing the speed of the um, screw conveyor or the Archimedes screw. Um, here's the conveyor belt system again. Must be it must be um, ventilated repeatedly to prevent explosions. Hopefully, on the Boeing Company machine, they can increase the speed of this conveyor belt. And maybe a factor of 10 and remove the uh, spoil much much more quickly at the bottom here you can see uh, some tunnel segments precast concrete segments they've been loaded here at the front of the machine ready for assembly also known as lining segments as I like to call them prefabricated concrete segments The most critical aspect is keeping a steady supply of uh, uh, tunnel segments ready to go. If you run out of tunnel segments, then obviously the machine has to stop. So, as we probably see now, the tunnel segments are going to be assembled. This is the segment ring. As you can see, it forms an arch, which is why it's so strong. And the most critical bit is the, the top part, which is the, the key, the keystone. So here's the actual factory that assembles the, uh, the tunnel segments. The Boeing Company will own and operate their own factory and will be producing uh, hundreds and hundreds of these segments every single day. As you can see, this is the transfer crane. And this is uh, dropping it onto here, which is like, it's a bit like a conveyor belt. Uh, it's known as the segment feeder. And that feeds the face of the machine so that it can erect the actual tunnel segments as quickly as possible. And the transfer crane just removes uh, these, the, the concrete segments from the, the actual train. So this is called an erector. I, I believe it's also known as a manipulator. Um, it moves at 360 degrees on this axis here. So as you can see, um, it can do one segment at a time. Maybe that's an area that uh, the Boeing company could improve on. Segments are picked up, um, rotated, and then dropped into place. Um, and they're held in place with the actual uh, hydraulic cylinders until the actual keystone is assembled right at the end, at which point uh, they are then bolted to the previous ring and that's what holds them in place. As you can see, there's a black rubber seal that runs along the panels. That ensures that they are watertight. There's no leaks whatsoever coming into the tunnel, which ensures structural stability. There you go. So it's been held into place until, it, until which point um, it can be bolted into the previous segment. And all the segments are joined together, so it works as one uh, homogenous piece. So here is the erector. It uses uh, special uh, vacuum plates, uh, because obviously these uh, concrete segments uh, can weigh up to uh, five and a half tons. So it needs to be a pretty hefty uh, machine. So this is uh, a TBM working uh, super fast speed. Obviously, in real life, this could be half an hour's worth of work, easily maybe, maybe more than an hour's worth of work, doing what you're seeing now. Um, everything has to be supported while they're erecting the tunnel segments. It's quite likely the Boeing Company machine will use a different system to this, uh, because this is very time consuming and it, it relies on um, assembling the segments first before then pushing the machine forward. Um, and you just lose a lot of time assembling these segments. So 
What is the key to building a good TBM? Well, must be ultra reliable. And I can't stress that enough. It has to be super reliable. If the machine is constantly breaking down, requiring new parts, uh, having to be stopped because it's overheating, it's no good. It's going to uh, disrupt the progress of the machine. It's going to cost them a lot of money to keep it running. It, it, you know, there's got to be a lot of effort put in to make sure this machine is the most reliable uh, TBM ever constructed. So the boring company has really got to work at that reliability. Um, it needs to be well engineered, no expense spared. If you can spend a lot of time engineering uh, the TBM and trying to make sure that all the problems are found way before you start tunneling, that will save you a lot of time and money because you won't be getting stuck. You won't have a machine that's breaking down. Also, reusability needs to be considered. Um, if you can use a machine, you know, 20, 30 times on various different projects, that's excellent. If you look back to uh, SpaceX and the rockets that they were using, the fact that they made them reusable um, was a real game changer. Really, that was a very disruptive technology, and that's what they need to do here for the actual TBMs. Ease of manufacture. Um, I imagine they're going to build a manufacturing um, facility in the next two years or so, so they can bang out these TBMs at a very quick pace. Ideally, they'd need to be building maybe uh, maybe 10 to 15 TBMs every year uh, initially. Then they can reuse the machine so they could slow the process down. Or who knows, maybe they're operating in various cities and then they can need to keep building them. Then they can export them all, all around the world. So what are my conclusions from today's talk about TBMs? Elon needs to design and build something rather special. As if he wants to achieve 15x improvement on previous machines, it needs to be bloody special. He needs to invest a lot of time and effort and get some of the best engineering brains in the world working on this project if he wants to achieve 15x. Failure to build a decent machine equals bankruptcy. That is simple, guys. This company could go bankrupt if it does not achieve the goals of a 10 to 15x improvement on existing machines. Okay, well, well, thank you for watching, guys. Again, another video concluded. I really hope uh, that you enjoyed the video. Any feedback you can give me, please drop it in the comments below. I really appreciate feedback. It's brilliant. Um, thank you for everyone who's been shouting out the show. Really do appreciate that. Uh, also, please, uh, if you are a new listener, please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. It helps the channel grow. It allows us to bring you bigger and better content. Okay, so have you just we got these two videos from the actual Boring Company website. Um, initially, I kind of wrote off this particular video with the uh, Model X as a bit of a gimmick. Maybe this was for you know the tunnel in Hawthorne, you know, so they could show it's working. Just maybe have a one-off car actually in the tunnel, um, but. This actual horizontal wheel here is going to be used in the final design for the Chicago project. So I need to learn about this system because it's never been done anywhere before. It's clearly some kind of guiding wheel to guide the actual glass pod down the tunnel. Um, and it allows it to use this curb as like a buffer. So hopefully we'll get a bit more information on that. Um, another video. We have the block making machine, uh, like Lego blocks. Beautiful, beautiful blocks that can be used uh, for housing, maybe commercial projects, can be used for retaining walls, garden walls, brilliant. And hopefully it'll cost less than 10 cent a block, which will be beautiful. Um, this machine obviously could uh, produce thousands and thousands of blocks every day. All you need to do is put in about 10 machines, boom, you've got a bit of a business selling blocks, which is superb. So, thank you for watching, uh, goodbye, um, and remember guys, don't be boring, stay cool, goodbye.